Sister Catherine, thank you for sharing the few moments with our website viewers to talk about your new book, From Here to There, which covers the leadership of the Sisters of Charity from 1942 to 1972. I just have a few questions for you today. When you decided to write this book, did you have a particular readership in mind? Well, when I suggested I was going to write the book, someone did say to me, well, who are your readers? And I immediately responded, BVMs, because I thought that by this book, I could review for the sisters this part of their history. And the comments that I have heard since the book was published um, makes me believe I achieved my goal. What sort of information does your book cover? Well, I tried to connect the dots um, that what the congregation was doing from the pre-Vatican Council days to the post-Vatican Council days. And uh, the sisters at that time were so busy doing their own personal ministries that they uh, sometimes were unaware of what was happening in the congregation. So that's what I was doing to help them understand what was happening within the community. And I know they gained a deeper appreciation for our history at that time, and I know they also gained a greater appreciation for our leaders of the time, who were Mother uh, Mary Josita, Mother Consolatrice Wright, and uh, Sister Roberta Kuhn. These were very wise women who were leading us through that period. Did readers outside of the BVM congregation show interest in your book? Well, I was delightfully surprised that uh, outside readers have shown an interest. Uh, there's a graduate of one of our high schools who sent me an email, and she said that all alums should read this book because uh, when they're in school, the Miss Sisters were such a mystery, and reading the book unravels the mystery. What were some of the themes that readers found reflected in your book? One person commented on the importance of community to the congregation, and we can trace that to uh, Mary Frances Clark. She believed that the sisters ha must have a strong bond of love if they were going to survive. And uh, that comes through very clearly in, in our book. And I think uh, you also mentioned there was um, a struggle for equality in the history of the BVM congregation? Yes, that uh, a person did comment uh, on the great struggle that the sisters faced trying to achieve equality within the institutional church. At the time of the Vatican Council, the fathers of the council said to the sisters, uh, return to the uh, spirit of your foundress and we were very excited about that because we thought uh, this would help us assume a greater role in the church. However, the church hierarchy was not that excited about that uh, directive. Sister Regina Qualls, in the foreword of your book, calls it the story of an evolution within the BVM congregation. I'm sure all of the viewers will look forward to reading your book. Thank you for sharing the story with us. Thank you very much. Writing that book was a labor of love. 